just want to thank you for making my life so fun and adventurous. There isn't such a thing as a dull moment with you. When we last did a video commemorating your life at 40, Cordy wasn't even born. A lot has happened in the past 10 years. We were living out the golden days of Doofer. We supported our kids in volleyball, drank fresh milk from our dear Clarabelle. Katie and Kyla had bees. You built an, out, an ice house with the kids, planted a garden with a hundred fruit trees, dug a massive pond, played lots of soccer, and started man camp. All the while taking me on fun excursions to Israel, Cancun, Los Cabos, Hawaii, then the devastating fire of our barn, and 90% of the things we owned and treasured went up in smoke. Along with that came tough times for ceramic, lawsuits, thievery, and betrayal. In all this, you proved steadfast in the Lord, shaken but not devastated. Your faith was tried, though by fire, but the result only brought forth a more refined and wiser Chad. We moved to our beautiful house in Bend, Oregon, where we've resided for the past four years. It was a time of comfort and restoration. Finally, a place for everything and everything in its place. It's as if the Lord had this place built just for us and the body of Christ to share. Then devastating news of your uncle's death took us all by surprise while on the cusp of launching the Big Ski family. You grieved and mourned as you always do for the ones you love so deeply, like Kevin and Donna Beth. With much consideration, you stabilized and went forward with your plans for the Big Ski family. Wow, what a time it was. So many fun places to explore and interesting people to meet. Always being sure my needs for a little space and alone time were met. You've never stopped taking me on dates since the moment I met you. Money or no money, trailer space living or the Taj Mahal, on the road with our children or at home sweet home. Always making sure we were the priority and celebrating our marriage and the little wins of life along the way. Um, specifically, I'm thinking of our 25th anniversary to Europe and my surprise New York City trip for my 50th birthday. Those were filled with surprises all along the way. I feel and am spoiled rotten. You enjoy life and inspire others to do the same. I love you, Chad, and feel so honored to be your one and only. Happy birthday to the best man I know. and more. 
more than I could ever articulate from the time I first met you at Camp Dwight going on, wow, was it 16 years ago now, uh, to every academy, to every time I'm able to be in your presence in your home or out playing games and playing sports, the example that you've been to me on being a godly man, a godly husband, a godly father, uh, has really just set, it's really given me um, a vision for for a life that I truly want. You know, if, if there's one person that, that I could emulate, you know, apart from Jesus Christ, of course, I'd probably say Chad, Chad Johnson. And, and of course, I love my father. You know, my father's been the most impactful person in my life, but second to my father, I look to you as this role model and this influence and somebody that I really admire and look up to. So thank you for being that. Thank you for raising my daughter. Thank you for being the best father-in-law and the best grandfather to my children that I could ever ask for. And uh, I'm really excited for another 50 or 60 years with your, you here on earth. But past that, you know, if you were 120, I just feel like you wouldn't be able to hang out on the ultimate Frisbee field anymore. And, um, and so at that point, might as well go to heaven and get a new body. Anyways, I love you. So grateful for you and happy birthday. There are so many things that I appreciate about daddy. I respect him so much and I'm a lot like him. So I'm grateful for a lot of his traits because I use them on the daily. But something that inspires me is that daddy is a learner and a grower and he never stops learning and he never stops growing and that has to do with his relationship with the lord that has to do with his relationship with my mom and him being a godly husband and father as well he just always seeks to grow and learn and he doesn't sit back as on his haunches and be like oh well i've already figured that out he's always looking for new ways to grow and new opportunities to learn and new ways to apply things in business in health literally in every area of life so that's something i just really respect is his desire and the action that he takes in being a lifelong learner and then when it comes to memories with daddy in the last decade i think a lot of them are just around quality time and daddy was always thoughtful whenever I came to him, needing that quality time, needing to have those conversations, whether they were hard or fun or just something that I want wanted, you know, his opinion on. He has been so quick to drop what he's doing and to sit down and take the time to have those conversations and give me his advice and just listen and be there to dream and get excited about things and that hasn't changed since I've been married I know something that my husband and I both really really value we have so many good memories sitting down with my dad or with my parents together and just brainstorming and dreaming about the future and sharing our concerns for life and I just really value the fact that my daddy is so busy and yet he still takes that time even with his married children to listen to them and dream with them and invest in them in a quality way. One thing I really love about you that I think is a little bit more unique, uh, maybe someone hasn't mentioned this yet, but it's your sense of humor. I love how quick you are uh, with your words, with a crack, and I can definitely think and have really fond memories of just kind of fraternizing and egging each other on teasing the girls or something at the dinner table so good memories and good times there and on a more serious side i really love and uh, respect your propensity to want to learn and grow and i think that's something that really permeates every aspect of your life whether that's your relationship with christ your relationship with your wife and your kids uh, business it's a really rare quality and I, I find it very contagious when i'm around you and my favorite memory more recently, seeing you hold Cosette for the first time was awesome. Uh, playing basketball and fighting on the court and then making up after. Um, just the dream conversations and polar dipping after the hot tub. But I think one favorite memory would be our lunch outing at Chipotle. When I asked your blessing to Mary Kyla, that was such a unique uh, moment as I remember it. And it was filled with so much joy. And I just remember feeling that moment really accepted and loved by you. So that's an awesome memory. And I really enjoy thinking and thinking about that. So I love you and hope you have a great birthday. I love how you are so intentional about being involved at every stage of our life, whether it was boot camp when we were really little or playing sports with us in our teen years, all the way up to talking through potential suitors and walking me down the aisle. 
you have always been there for all of life's most important moments, and I think that's something that a lot of children don't have. Um, I also love how you're so creative, and you always make it fun. There's no ho-hum with you. Uh, you, Yeah, I just think of all the different times where you declare a national holiday or, you know, take us out to dinner or do something fun. You're always making life just that much better. My favorite memory would have to be building the fence with you in Maple. That was so much fun. You called out the talents you saw in me and the abilities I had, and you just made me feel really confident and excited to pursue the strengths that um, you saw. So I love you so much and happy birthday. Hey daddy, when I stop and think about who you are and what you mean to me, I am just overwhelmed with thankfulness to the Lord for him seeing fit to bless me with you. The older I get, the more I realize that having a father that loves the Lord and is going to protect and provide and care for you and love his wife and love his children and love other people, it's such a rarity. One of my favorite memories with you was the week we got to spend together at JH Ranch going through that father-daughter program. I feel like that was really a big breakthrough in our relationship and it was just so great to have that quality time with you. I love that we can bond over our shared love for the outdoors and climbing mountains and being adventurous. I think you really get me in that way. And I love you know, going on bike rides and training for half Ironmans and things. Um, with you and the fact that you have kept um, been disciplined and really kept your physical fitness is just the biggest blessing and so much fun for us kids to be able to enjoy and go have adventures with you one of the other things i really appreciate about you is the way you have always encouraged my ideas and creativity around different business ideas i might have or it doesn't really matter what it is i've just always felt your encouragement and support and that's huge when you're going out and trying new things. You've just been there every step of the way for me. So happy birthday. Here is to the next 50 years of just awesomeness. And I love you so much. Happy birthday, daddy. Uh, this is Baylor. Um, I just appreciate how you take everything by the horns and just go full send into life. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's um, a new hobby, or your work, or your family, or your relationship with the Lord. Um, you just go all the way, and I really appreciate that about you. A favorite memory I have with you is uh, the River Guide reunions that we go on every five years, and I've just been super grateful to tag along and um, watch you hang out with your peers and a bunch of awesome guys. And um, one of those, one of the funnest memories I've had with you was jumping off uh, Independence Bridge and uh, doing backflips off that bridge because it's so terrifying and I can't believe you still do that stuff. So that's definitely one of the, um, the top ranking memories I have with you. I hope you have an awesome 50th and I've enjoyed every minute and hour I've gotten to spend with you and I just pray that your uh, next 50 years will be just as awesome. Daddy, there's so many things I love about you, um, but I'll start with for your memory, and that was um, probably when we went to JH Ranch. That was like the best week ever, just getting to spend undistracted time with you and being a quality timer. It was just so special, and I just love how you take the time to pour into us children like that, because, I mean, to pour a full week into one of your children is just such a blessing, and I love your intentionality with life, just your whole way of thinking and your way of doing things. It's so wonderful to see somebody being intentional and pursuing their passions while at the same time following the Lord's guidelines for how to live a rich and healthy life. And I also love how like learning is definitely something so beyond academics and your basic um, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Learning is a part of life and I love that you love learning and that you have passed that on to us kids and the ability to want to dive into new things and not be scared to try. And I love how you've always said, if you're going to fail, fail forward, because it's just a great reminder. And I can't believe how many daddyisms that you say I have just like brought into my own life. And I, yeah, I just love you so much. Happy birthday, daddy. This is Kimberly. Um, one of my most memorable moments with you is when we went on our two-day camping trip um, at Big Bear. And we were jet skiing and 
bowling, eating Mexican food, all while we had um, the flu together. And I remember you introducing me to Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> and it was just a super interesting time, but it'll definitely go down as a memory that we both um, always laugh about together. Um, my favorite thing to do with you is ski. I just love how you are so passionate about the sport and I just love seeing you in your happy place because it's also my happy place and I love how we share the fascination for snow and shoveling it and I just love how you hype everybody up on the mountain and you have so much passion for that sport and I just, you've taught me everything I know and I just love following you around and I love how you make me feel like such a great skier when I'm around you because you're always just super encouraging and supportive. Um, I love how you just take life to the next level and you aren't scared of what other people think. You just do things out of the norm and you love it and you've made a super awesome life. And you just, I love how you followed God and you didn't care what other people thought. And I just love how you go a little bit harder and a little bit longer and just push a little bit more than everybody else. Anyway, you inspire me a ton and I love you bunches. There are so many things I appreciate about you, but one of the biggest things is that you have your priorities right. The Lord, Mother, and us kids. You take time out of your every day to spend time with each of us. Not letting work or business get in the way. One of my favorite memories with you was going on dates to country cousins. Having that one-on-one -on -one time was so special for me. More recently, I have enjoyed learning and growing with you on the candle business. Though it was hard at times, I am so, so thankful for your patience with me on teaching me the skills I know I will use for the rest of my lifetime. I thank God for giving me such a loving, adventurous, amazing father. I love you. Hey, Daddy. You have been such a great dad to me, and I have loved knowing you for these 13 years that I've been on this earth. And um, one thing I like about you is you always want to make other people's days fun, like, um, Whenever we go skiing, you always are looking out for other people and trying to make their day fun by wearing funky costumes and, um, you know, handing out stickers and stuff. And I know that you've blessed a lot of people in that way um, over your 50 years that you've been on this earth. And I'm just, I just hope that you have a great birthday. And I know that me and my 10 siblings love you very much. Bye. Hey, Daddy. Happy, happy birthday. I love you so much and I can't wait to celebrate your 50th. One of my favorite memories with you is when we went on this board meeting and we went to the old mill and we rented one of those little pedal bikes and we had um, we went out to eat and then we looked in the shops and I remember we had such a good time. And I love how you invest in each one of us kids. And I know personally I feel so special and I feel like you care about me so much and you take time out of your day or week and um, to spend time with me and talk about what I'm interested in. I can't wait to spend like 20 more years, 80 more years, 100 more years with you and spending time with you. I love you, happy birthday. Hey daddy, it's Bentley and I just wanna tell you some stuff about you and uh, that I really like. So um, I love how you're not afraid of anything and you're just so active and stuff. And one of my favorite memories is playing with you in the pond and we would try and get you under the water. And you were just having so much fun with us and we had so much fun with you. And I love how you ask so many good questions to us kids. And I love you. Happy 50th. Hi, Daddy. Happy birthday. I'm so excited that you're turning 50. And I can't believe it. You're so good looking and so strong and god's word and i love how i just have a daddy who loves her mama and that he cares about each one of us kids i love how you're so kind and peaceful and i love how you always think about us other kids and like when i went and um i went out and cleaned the yard with you and then i iced my foot when i um when, when i fell in the springs and I just love you, Daddy. Happy birthday. Hi, Papa. 
Papa Johnson. This is Liam. I love you. I like coming to your house. I like dressing with you. Happy birthday. Bye, bye, dad.